hit like a log or something, I need to be not worried about my line, which is why I'm putting on 25 pound fluoro. I'm going heavy boy today, heavy, heavy boy. How's everyone doing? I know we've been like freaking back and forth in MIA the past couple days. I hope everyone's doing very well. It's a beautiful day out here today. I didn't eat anything, so a little hungry, but um, we're gonna get the hydrate going, keep it going. Let's see here. Good little knot there. Get that double uni. I was thinking about, I was thinking about, okay, so we should do, I should do like an in-depth knot tutorial, right? Where like I got, I'm like tying the knot like right in front of the camera and talking about it. Maybe 30 seconds to a minute. We clip it and then make it a command. So like in the future when people are like, yo, what knot are you using? I can be like, yo, exclamation uni or exclamation palomar. And then we could freaking have that highlight like ready to go so people can learn how to do a double uni knot like I did in like what that was like 30 seconds, maybe like 45 seconds for a good strong line to line knot. 115 today, it's gonna be hot, dude. Same here, bro. Same here. It's gonna be freaking brutal today. Whenever you're tying fluorocarbon or mono, make sure you wet the line, even braid it helps. I've had it, I've had sometimes when I'm tightening it and I wet braid and it like slips and it tightens even harder. And I'm like, damn, yo. Like if I waited till I was getting a fish, like that would have slipped and broke. Cause I always cut braid really close. I leave like maybe like half a millimeter of um, maybe, yeah, like half a millimeter of liter on the fluoro side of my double uni, just cause I always feel like it's gonna slip. Actually all lines, yeah, it just, there's so much, you have to realize the whole point of the knot is to put surface area touching each other. So if you've got freaking I know the knot looks small, but if there's like a hundred, like let's say 50 times the surface area because you wrapped it around over and over, then you gotta make sure you wet that shit because once you start tightening it, some pieces may not be sliding anymore. You need it to really cinch down and slide together. Um, we're not gonna go with much later though. I really just need it. I don't need it for visibility. I need it just for uh, abrasion resistance. But I also don't wanna be cutting off all day because of bowfin. Um, and I also don't want it to fuck with my casting abilities. So I think I'm gonna go like right here. This is usually a sweet spot, probably like four feet, three, four feet. Three-ish. It's usually a sweet spot for me. Uh, let's put this put the swim bait away and I think on this other rod I'm just gonna go fucking I'm just gonna go with like worm or something dude I got the fluke on there which I think it'll be kind of nice especially to kind of like bob it around and move it pretty quick I got a quarter ounce I got a quarter ounce um weight for it so I can kind of like move it pretty quick and keep it like bouncing up and down but I think I'm just gonna go like straight up weightless worm Weightless worm just fucking works out here, dude. Part of me wants to do like a weighted worm, but I'm kind of torn. What do you guys think? Should I go weighted or should I stay weightless? I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn. I've got the drop shot, right? For something that's like deeper. Kind of want to stay towards the surface, I feel. I don't know, the natural fall of a Senko sometimes or the natural fall of a worm is like, that's like how the company designed it, you know? Company don't, companies don't necessarily design baits around having an eighth ounce weight on the front of it. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't, that's not how they make it. They, they make it 
with a hook in it. That's how they design it. They design it to be freaking hooked up a certain way. But not, not any weights. No weights to it. Do the double uni, please. <laughs> I got you, Kay. I mean, I think that's a great idea. When I thought about that, I was like, I could do that. That'd be smart. Because then a lot of people ask, like, all the time. Nighttime fishing has been much more productive for me. This month's really digital, but you've been doing nighttime fishing. I don't nighttime fish because of alligators and mosquitoes. Straight up. Straight up. Y'all have watched me and Kayla do some ballsy shit. And I will not go fishing at night because of alligators and mosquitoes. Like, dude, you just don't know. They will creep on you. And same with snakes. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? It's like right here next to the dock, yo. I don't know what it was. Thrashed like a gator. It must have been a turtle, though. Hey, shucks. What would you do if Kayla gave birth to a largemouth bass? Would you get mad on her? For her cheating on you with a fish I guess until the until the baby bass comes out in F1 type and I'm like oh baby <laughs> I'm joking yeah I don't know how I would feel first of all I'd be calling up freaking anyone and I'd be like major medical doctors of the world I've got I've got a discovery they're gonna be like what's up man I'm gonna be like I want I, I need we need some hella fucking money first. <laughs> but then we would tout our bass around, you know what I'm saying, bros? We could get like a really dope little net that we just kind of carry him in. And maybe we get like a dope mister so that he stays like wet all the time. <laughs> you know, what would that even be like? A bass person mix. Like, what if he got, what if he has legs, but he's got gills? I don't even know if that's, like, something we should talk about. <laughs> he's got legs, but gills. If you don't give it to cast for, go weightless. If you don't have it to cast, have to cast for, go boys. Uh, I, I'm going weightless. I'm going weightless. Gator? Gator? Real feel New Hampshire's 101, sticky humidity. What the fuck did I just come back to? Dusko asked, what would he think if you popped out a largemouth bass? He said, would you get, would you be mad at her for cheating on you with the fishes? Yo, something's hitting the top water like crazy. I said, I don't know exactly what my response would be. <laughs> I said, if that happened, my first my first reaction would just be like, yo, we need to call up some kind of freaking doctors and medical journalists because uh, this is a fucking discovery. <laughs> Note to self, if a woman fishes through her pregnancy, she's going to pop out the largemouth bass. <laughs> Okay, let's uh what do we do soft plastic wise to start let's start with something like just that we that i know works you know what i'm saying let's just start with something i freaking know works and that's a goddamn 10 inch june bug worm weightless weightless on this bitch yo about to get it about to get it do -do -do -do. and then we're gonna launch we're gonna get on them, you know? I'd rather pop them out than shoulders. That's what I was saying, but I was also saying, oh man, watch it come out. I'd be like, I don't know how I would feel until I realize it's an F1 type bass. It's like the ultimate bass strain. They got big shoulders, Kay. <laughs> I don't know if I would want that for you. Look at that, look at that. I I've been loving these straight shank hooks, dude. So normally the hook just sits like this, right? It's like, yo, that straight shank, my hookup ratio has gone through the roof. I don't even, I don't even fucks. I don't even fucks with a EWG anymore. Fuck that shit, dog. EWGs for them punk ass fucking 
regular people. I'm fucking like straight edge, homie. I'm straight edge as shit, dude. Fucking throwing straight shanks. I'd finally get my 10 pounder. Now watch, he comes out eight pounds. A 10 pound kid is absolutely fucking massive, Caleb. We're not gonna have a 10 pound child. I mean, hey, you never know, dude. You never know, right? To be honest, though, I feel like 10 pound kid. I, I I don't know. It just doesn't seem realistic to me. I have a feeling that we're gonna pop out a regular fucking eight pound, two ounce little homie, right? I don't think there's gonna be any fucking 10 pounder popping. My mom had to get a C-section because of it. No way. I think babies, baby weight is de definitely directly related to the weight of the mother too though. I feel like if you're a little bit bigger when you have a kid, there's a chance that the kid's gonna be a little bit bigger. You know, it's just how it is. I have yet to see a gator. Water is up a lot. The water is up a lot. It's actually down. It looks like it's been down over the past day. But man, it is up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. We're gonna shoot over into Trout Creek first. And uh, see if we can't get all some fish. Jax, good to see you today, brother. God, I'm trying to figure out a good place for this wrist mount, but man, lately it's just been pissing me off. When I read it, I don't know want to go like this. I like it like this, but it's like, fuck, dude. It's getting in the way sometimes, dude. Oh, holy gar. Holy gars, Batman. Jesus. Holy Jesus. been hearing that on the news what about the uh, the weather oh dude it's gonna be fucking ridiculous 116 in seattle nope see here's the thing and I, i've i've seen this uh, i've seen this on the internets not too long ago but it was talking about how florida is actually one of the cooler states but it's because when we record temperatures we don't record humidity oh shit damn fucking nested on the asap and get it over with early, right? Uh, we record temperatures as they are and not real feel. So, like, uh, Florida doesn't, Florida rarely hits 100 degrees. Like, we don't, we don't get 100 degrees. That's not a thing. Um, what the fuck, dude? Jesus, homie hasn't fished in a while. Uh, yeah, we rarely hit 100. Normally, we're in, like, the 90s, but... We have like fucking 100% humidity, but when it's 95 and 100%, and it's like a different humidity. You know, some places, I've had some people come in the channel and they're like, we've got 100% humidity right now. And I'm like, I don't think you realize, like Florida is just different. Like when you're surrounded by nothing but oceans on a peninsula like this, the humidity is just, it's like enveloping, dude. Oh, it's nasty. 116 straight up fucking hot though. That's just straight up high. Humidity or not, dude. 116 is sometimes what we feel when it's like 80, 80 to 85 with 100% humidity. The the real feel out in the sun is like about 115. So I can imagine like that's it's hot as fuck. Like, I, I can't stand in the sun for more than 30 minutes before being, like, just absolutely done. Barometric pressure over humidity. Then again, I don't know anything. Wait, what? We were talking about affecting the temperature. I don't... Does barometric pressure affect the temperature? I know the fish. Oh, yeah. For fishing, they don't give a fuck about humidity, bro. They live in the water. <laughs> Humidity has absolutely zero effect on fish. 
But then the UV has a huge thing with fish. Like, UV can affect us a lot, but not really. Like, if there's many people around the world that are not privileged and they live in places, underprivileged third world countries with 12 UV, like, every day. Like, think about half of Africa. There's deserts. They have no trees. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these deserts around the world. Sometimes, bro, that's just how it is. But the fish, yo, fish will not deal with that 12 UV shit. They will, they will go deep or find cover. They cannot deal, yo. Chuck ignoring me feels bad. Yo, there's just too much in chat, Ducks Go. Sometimes, bro, you always say this. Ducks Go, I fucking love you, dog. Oh my God, yo. That top water hit. Holy fuck. Hit the hit the worm, bro. Yo, I threw my worm through the air and he jumped for it. Oh, a bass? Hello, bro. Yo, the water's up super high in here. How the hell do someone not know that they're pregnant and then all of a sudden have it on a taxi or a bus or some random other place? Like, have you heard of that shit? Dude, ducks go, dude. Some people, some women, they just don't realize. Maybe they're like going through shit and they're like, to be honest, again, it's one of those things. Yo, when you're a little bit bigger, that's just how it is, you know? You're not gonna have the fucking 100 pound soaking wet woman not get eight months pregnant and not realize, you know? Nah, no, it's probably the woman that's already like pushing like three, 400 pounds. You know, she may just think like, oh, I've had a crazy couple of months of eating. Hundred percent is impossible. Even if, yeah, okay, you're right. You're right, Toasty. Yo, oof, that's nasty, Grant. That's nasty outside. That's nasty inside. The cyber dev, what's going on, bro? What's just talk to me, Doug? Just talk to me. What's up, homie? I'm here. I'm just chilling, you know. I'm not gonna offer you any crazy fucking next level advice, but I'm here to chat, dog. That's the whole point of this channel, dude. I love when people just come in and we just chat it up, you know. Let's throw that drop shot with the freaking watermelon fluke, dude. Oh, gave it a good little fucking toss over there. Fuzzy, what's up? No, we just started, bro. We literally just went live. Zero fish. We need to edit that. And yeah, please, CyberDev, if you're gonna... Okay, sorry. I was gonna say, if you're just trolling, dog, that's not even funny. I'm about to ban you. I don't even, I don't even fuck around with that, yo. I was at work the other day, and someone was like, dude, they were joking, and he says, "Oh yeah, I'm just gonna go kill myself." I was like, "Yo, you don't even." I was like laughing the moment before that. I said, "Dog, you do not joke about that shit." I said, "You, that's not something to joke about." There's a lot of people that are in very bad places. Oh, dude, I could have swore I just got smacked. I'm throwing the freaking... Right now, I got the drop shot tied on. I got the quarter ounce weight with that freaking watermelon fluke on it. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of popping it across the bottom. See if we can't get on some good bass. Kind of throwing it in the sun, even though I'm in the shade right now. Pretty pretty dope spot here. Let's freaking y'all what I'm, what I'm working with here. What I'm working with... Go, good morning, Fuzzy. Good morning. Yo, chat's freaking rolling today, dudes. You guys are you guys are going nuts, yo. I'm gonna try to catch a fish. I'm gonna try to catch a fish for us, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt, you know? I'm no I'm no pro. I'm no pro chat, okay? Okay. Wait, are we in hot tub? No, we're in just chatting. Oh yeah, Pinhead. I, I I think I fucked around one day and was like joking around and put myself in that section. Cause like chat was going nuts. They're all like, do it. But uh to be honest, I don't think I've I've done it since then. It's just meh. 
I, I, I'd rather just stay and just chatting. I, I'd really like to be in travel outdoors, but I feel like you just lose all viewability on Twitch. And I think that's a huge thing because I've had any, you know, a lot of people will be like, so you lose viewability, but you're going to get, you know, people looking for you specifically. And I'm like, bro, I, I think the people looking for me specifically, like if they look up fishing, if they look up Florida, if they look up IRA, like I pop up anyways, you know, if they're looking those things up. But I feel like the nicest part about Twitch and the coolest thing is I've had a lot of people like they start fishing and they, they do the fishing thing because they find me on here. Like I've had so many people, they, they say, oh man, dude, this looks so cool. Like I didn't think about fishing. Um, I went fishing as a kid and I haven't been fishing in 15 years. And then they come in and they chill with us for a little bit. And then a couple weeks later, they're like in my discord and they're like, yo, I got a freaking brand new rod and reel. I'm about to go slay some bass because of you. Like that's super cool, dude. I think it's awesome that I could bring people, whether they're new or returning, but like bring the people back to the fishing hobby, dude. I think that's awesome. I've had people buy kayaks. People, people uh, maybe learn new techniques from fishing. You know, maybe you're a bobber fisherman and you're like, yo, Shuck uses curly tail artificial worms all day. Like, I gotta try this out. And then like, you go get curly tail artificial worms and you have a great day of bass fishing, you know? Like, dude, I think that's the coolest part. Just chatting allows me to just reach more people to allow that to happen, you know? Is that why most fishing streams are in just chatting? Yeah, yeah. But also, I mean, it is a just chatting stream. Like, yo, how many times happened, Kayla? Properly. How many times, chat, have we just like been fishing or something, but then like we're just chatting? Wait a second. There's a fucking section for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of fishing, especially like the fishing we do, or then most people do. I mean, it's fucking fishing. It's not like you're like trying to like beat some kind of world record or time record or something, you know? You're not like usually on the clock. That's the best part of fishing. You just chill and you talk to your buddies, you know? Um, I think that it, just chatting is like the perfect place for it. Just chatting has also allowed me and Kayla to do things that we never even really thought about. We're like fishing and someone's like, oh, let's freaking, let's just go straight from one thing into another. Like how many times we've been fishing and we just go straight into an IRL or we're IRL and we just go straight into fishing. Like we don't have to worry about the section. People are finding us through that method, you know? I've had people join us for fishing. They see us fishing, so they join, but they like they don't even enjoy the fishing. They just like me and Kayla. I think that's because of just chatting. Like people are looking for dope people to just chat with, you know? So Twitch needs a fishing category. To be honest, at this point, I don't think so. There's not enough, there's not enough traction for fishing on, on Twitch, dude. You don't you don't have enough people getting enough viewers doing it. Like y'all think like, oh my God, are you kidding me? There's thousands of people watching fishing. Yeah, there's also thousands of people watching, you know, a dozen other things. Like, there's there's well over 2 million people on Twitch at any moment. You know, if, if, you're, if you've only got 10,000 people watching fishing or less, like, that's not... That's why they did travel outdoors. Because even all the people doing travel outdoors, like, they couldn't pinpoint a certain thing to like make a category for right that's why fishing never got a category even when fucking shook ones out there with t seven thousand viewers and we had like tons of people back in like 2018 we had m maybe fifteen thousand viewers watching fishing at any moment and we still couldn't get that shit done dude it's just how it is at the moment and the platform's gonna grow i'm sure it will just like youtube like a lot of people really didn't put fishing shit on youtube Back in 2004, you know, a lot of it was games. A lot of it was fucking World of Warcraft, Swifty, Swifty, freaking destroying PvP compilations. Or maybe like it's like shit about, I don't know, it's like a lot more technical stuff. Fixing the brakes on my 2004 Honda Odyssey, you know? Like I don't, I don't think that it's uh, necessarily used for fishing initially. Is 
Is the bit right okay? Has it been cutting out? Fishing always leads to chatting, shucks. I agree with you. Yeah, like, dude, you ducks. Yeah, they have a hot tub. Why no fishing? Think about the viewers, dude. Think about how many people for uh, an extended period of time. And there also was an issue that kind of started to arise from the hot tubs because of, like, the whole nature of them. But uh, um, think about how many people were watching that shit, dude. It wasn't like ten or 15,000 people watching fishing. It was like a hundred, 150,000 people watching. That is, that is massively different. <laughs> you're talking, you're talking multiplicative, not just like additive difference. It's definitely uh, a whole different ball game. It's okay though, dude. People love, I think that's one of the coolest things about being a fishing streamer on Twitch is like, you really just got to love, you know, what you do. I don't know. It's weird. I, I feel like I've seen a lot of YouTubers, YouTube fishermen pop up recently and they're just like, I don't know trying to like promote their shit, trying to get out there. They, they're so focused on the fucking internet and becoming the biggest, hottest shit instead of the actual like, yo, I'm trying to fish. Like we got this fucking tournament right now, dudes, the Go League. I've become so enthralled in trying to be <laughs> number one. I love the tournaments. I love bass fishing. So like the, the first moment I have to be bass fishing in a tournament, I'm like, oh yeah, I took, I've been taking it so seriously. Chad, I've been driving to places, trying to get big ass bass, obviously failing, second place. <laughs> Solidus is a beast of a fisherman, I'll tell you that shit. The him, tech, Gab they, they all put up numbers. Gabby, fishing technician, yo, he's won the past couple, I think, or he won the last one that me and him were in. There was no divisions, and it was the final two, me and technician. I lost by one inch. Oh, dude, that was a fucking fun one, though. I don't think I've ever had so much fun, like, watching. Like, I'm in the final minutes of the tournament fishing, trying to get the big in, and Technician was so scared that he went out and he was fishing. It's, like, straight up out of MLF, bro. It was so sick. I loved it. I loved it. I have some weird feeling. It, it won't be really necessarily the same this time because it's such a long competition. People had time to go out and really you know put the bass on the board dude like i think he's so far ahead of second place that it's not even close right we were one inch apart one inch apart dude that's huge youtube really isn't for live streaming i can agree with that Yo, i'm not getting bit on the fucking wormy wormy dinger we're gonna have to swap this up. I know there's tons of bass in here and they have not hit this shit, dude. They have not hit this shit, Doug. Um, let's take that June bug curly tail off. Our high is gonna be 101 today. We can watch Shuck burn. <laughs> I put on sunscreen. Tyler's real fishing. Yo, I like Tyler's real fishing. I think he's super cool. I think that's a genuine ass dude that um, just happened to blow the fuck up. And he's really good at video editing. I think that's that's a huge thing. Is if you, like, I wit, I sort of wish sometimes that I, I, out of high school, I would have jumped right into um, making YouTube videos. Because, man, I was fucking good at editing back then. The key is, like, being fast and efficient. Your boy was fast and efficient, dog. I was fucking all about it yo let's try a little top water action yolo what, that one's destroyed i recall kayla's personal best was on a pond yeah it was on the golf course funny enough dude i know she even said that she's like just go back because we got permission to to fish at the golf course Right, so it's like technically we can use it for the competition, and we went out there one day and put the hurting on some bass. Uh, but I haven't been out there since, dude. I've been trying to like go to these bigger places because a lot of the bass in the ponds and shit out here, they're all spawned out, dude. They're spawned. They're not really like eating right now. It's hot. This is kind of like you know 
the rest of the country, they kind of like hibernate during the winter. The bass kind of hibernate during the fucking summer here. We don't we don't get overly active bass when the water is like 95 degrees out, you know? Yo, I'm either gonna get absolutely fucking annihilated by a bowfin, or I'm gonna catch a nice sized bass. I don't think there's gonna be any dinks that pick up a horny toad. just keeping it fast and violent oh yeah definitely gonna get slammed i got a feeling it's just that fucking sound dude it pisses them off it pisses those fucking bass off yo yo good to see everyone by the way dude i see some of the most amazing names hopping in chat everything from my i don't want to even say a name i'm not pointing anyone out like no one's better than anyone else i love you all right now dude i see some amazing names in the chat room you guys are awesome thanks for joining me today for this little fishing session here on the river i like fishing the river during the summer because like what I, was, what I was just talking about you know that river gets so cold dude. it's spring fed so it stays like straight up 70s low 70s mid 70s like even in the fucking dead of summer the river moves quick and it stays cold that's huge that's huge for the fishing I, I feel like I have a better chance to catch a six out here throwing a big bait than I do at a pond like any day because they get to feed forever out here. They get big. The only problem is, is they don't get super big because it is a small river. And technically, like, there's a lot of other predators. Like, back, it's not a lake that's been, like, combed through, you know. This is very much a river that has had, that has absolutely gigantic bowfin bass snakes everything dude huge birds herons that come through and just like absolutely they'll just pick out a bass that's spawning on the edge right very smart motherfuckers oh yeah digital bubba you know bro you know I've seen pond bass eat cigarette butts. Yep. No, no bass yet today. No fish yet today. But we're on our way to the first one right now, dude. The water's come up a lot. It's like really muddy and, and murky. But that's good. That means I could take this horny toad and like kind of like throw it up in there. Up on the bank. And then kind of pull it out. And I feel like they'll they'll see that and they'll kind of follow. Get that noise going too, I think that's huge. That duckweed, yo. You guys know what duckweed is? This is duckweed. Shit, I don't wanna get it on the camera or on my battery bank. It's like the little, it's like little moss. What you see is like a little lily pad, but underneath it's got like this like mossy shit to it. A lot of people like it in aquariums because it adds like cover and it makes a good place for smaller fish to like eat bacteria and plankton and stuff. Or not plankton, I guess that's a saltwater thing, isn't it? No, there's many planktons in freshwater. Pretty damn sure on that one. Oh, dude, I'd like to get a topwater hit on camera too, though. I feel like my face is more entertaining right now. <laughs> Yo, big chap coming in with the freaking gifted Gator sub to Toby. Gator big Gator chap, hype, hype, hype. Gator Thank you so Gator much, bro. Gator. What is it, man? Wife's was oranges, the cravings. Yo, it's like changed every week. She keeps saying, she keep, you know what? I'm gonna like, we're gonna freaking have this be like a mantra in our life. But it's like, She's like, oh, this is this is gonna be my craving through my pregnancy. She says that line every, it's like on a weekly basis. This is gonna be my craving through my pregnancy. Something completely different the next week. Like, yo, I remember like two weeks ago, she's going nuts about creamsicles chat and I could not find a fucking creamsicle, dude. I'm looking everywhere, creamsicle ice cream, creamsicle bars, creamsicle, creamsicle. I can't find this shit to save my life. We end up getting knockoff creamsicles. She's like, oh, this is perfect. Eats one. She says, that was awesome. 
I said, okay, cool, perfect. It's been two weeks. I don't think she ate a second. I ended up, I don't even do cream. I actually really enjoyed it, but I don't do cream sickle. And I ended up eating one because it's just sitting there. I was like, Kayla. But you know what? You know what she said during that cream sickle crave? This is gonna be it. This is gonna be my creep. This is gonna be the craving for my pregnancy. What is it at the moment? What is it at the moment, Kayla? Did you tell them? Yo, that's so sick. Thanks for that freaking gifted sub. Sir Lost gifted a sub to Nightbot for the exclamation hype, yo. GG's, dude. <laughs> JJ RM, what's up, homie? My wife loved yellow Gatorade during both pregnancies. Yellow Gatorade? Oh, isn't that like the worst color Gatorade? No. No, you guys ever tried? Okay, so I didn't like I didn't like yellow for a while. I can tolerate orange. Orange isn't bad. But but yellow is just a no-go, right? Until I tried cucumber. What was it? What is the chat? You guys have you guys have seen it probably. It's a cucumber flavor. Oh my God. Oh my God. You didn't think, you never could have thought that they could like engineer something so absolutely nasty. Yo guys, it's like starting to turn into a swamp again. It's starting to turn into a swamp. The river's flooding, dudes. We've got so much rain the past couple, like the past two weeks. So much rain, the, the river's absolutely like, yo, there was a here. There was a bank right here on the past. Like this is the this was the land right here. Look at it. Now it's just forever water. That's how it ha that's what happens out here, yo. You get the forever water. Deviled eggs, yep. <laughs> It really does taste like a cucumber though. It's disgusting. Really toasty tiger. Oh yeah, no. It's a uh, cucumber lime or some shit, dude. Oh my God, just absolutely horrid. Never thought they could, they could create such a fucking horrible, horrible drink. Yo, the water's moving through here. I'll tell you that. It looks, it looks like glass, right? Like, look at the water. It's like glass, chat. It's fucking hustling, dude. It's moving so fast right now. We've gotten so much water. I'm like paddling at a good speed and there, I'm going like nowhere, dude. It's unreal. The cucumber lime, dude, that's, oh, ugh, ugh. I can't do that, chat. I can't do that. It's disgusting. Yo, you're disgusting. Probably a lot of new bass. A lot of bass in the new water line. Back man, that's the issue. That's why I stopped fishing the river. Every year I stop fishing the river starting in like a month. Maybe, maybe a month, maybe a little less. But usually like July... I'm done at the river because dude, it gets so flooded that there's no new water line. All of the bass, they, they just move up all these little creeks and channels and they just move all the way up into the swamp where you just cannot catch them. And if they're sitting out at the river, they're like under these trees, but it's like, bro, how the fuck do you cast under that shit? And as the water comes up, it only gets worse. Like getting all the way up in there. Oh, I got a really good cash this then. But like, yo, getting all the way up in there is so ridiculously difficult. Like, I'm a good, I feel like I'm a pretty good bass fisherman. And that shit's not easy, bruh. Like, just getting all the way the fuck up under there every single time. It's not like mangroves. It's not like two feet. No, no, no. Sometimes the edge of the trees to the, to the actual tree stump itself is like 10, 15 feet. You know, they overhang hardcore. Yo, Wes Wade, what's up, bro? Thanks for that bit, dog. The pride bit coming through. That's what's up, that's what's up. 
Can't wait till we have hours with the land so we can plant some fruits. Oh, dude. Yo, the water. Water's moving out here today, boys. Water's freaking moving and grooving today. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go up river just a little bit. But, you know, I will tell you, since the water is so high now, you probably won't see as many gators. They tend to go out into the swamp at this point. They go into the swamp because they can stay cool with the water, but only be in like a freaking foot of it instead of like trying to hang off a branch in the middle of the lake, you know? I say that, but there's like a huge ass gator to our left over here. And there's another big ass one to our right. Damn, maybe there's gonna be like hella gators out here. Oh yeah, there's a big ass gator up here. And then there's one just like chilling over here. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. He's posted right up on the edge. He's posted right up on the edge right there. And then this guy, this guy's fucking massive. That's up here. Yeah, let's see if I can't zoom out and get us a little bit closer. Yo, homie over here is watching me like, like a death stare watch. Oh, this guy just stopped too. This guy just stopped and turned around. Yo, maybe we might have to fish the other direction on the river. Yo, Fisherman Kile, what's up, big dog? What's up, big dude? Good to see you, homie. Okay, I'm gonna keep it zoomed out in case we get attacked by something, you know? Um, I wanna make sure it's on camera. <laughs> We're gonna get fucking absolutely annihilated by an alligator. Let's do it on camera, right? Most of them should just chill, though. It's like we're kind of like towards the the second half of that mating season as long as i give them some room normally i'm gonna be chilling like i'm pretty sure i'm pretty i've been around them for a couple of years now i think that's that's pretty much how it goes i gotta be very careful though using a top water bait yo they will get like enticed as hell yo that's a big gator over here to our right he's kind of hiding i can't show you guys him but is a big old gator girl. That could be a boy though. They usually don't have an issue with kayakers, right? Because kayakers don't stop. Especially when they see gators. They're just like, okay, let's oh my god, this guy's got a fucking full on bass boat out here. Wow. Wow, I'm doing something wrong in live chat. Dude's got full on bass boat. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Homie's got his fucking 20 foot tracker out here. Oh, yo, what a nice ass boat, dude. He's just Gator. drifting. Gator. Oh, he's got the trolling motor. Gator. Gator. Oh, fuck, Gator. you suck. Gator. Fuck, you suck, dude. Oh, that looks so dope, dude. That looks so dope. Someday, chat. Maybe someday. I can't hit that top or action right over here. This guy got hung up in the tree. Whoa. Got hung up in the tree. Whoa. Yo, what? Kill a girl and give it to baby girl. Oh shit. Yo, thanks, baby girl. Swim with the gators or no balls, Kappa. Thank you so much for tuning in. girl hype. I know Kayla loves the, the women in the channel. All about that girl hype. Kayla just tipped a dollar. Kayla? Kayla coming in with a dollar? What? 
What did the message say? What's the message say? That's all I need to know. What the heck does that dollar say? Any luck today, boys? You caught, caught one nice uh, catfish. That was it. How about yourself? I'm uh, just getting started. I'm trying to get that middle of the day bite. We'll see if it happens, though. Yeah. It's a little freaking hot today, for sure. They had lost y'all this morning. Oh, yeah. Well, best luck to y'all. $30,000 bass boat and they caught one bass. They caught one catfish, not even a bass. They're using artificial lures and they catch a freaking catfish, not even a bass. What the hell? What? Dono says swim with the gators or no balls. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no. Can I just say no to that? That sounds like really sketchy, dude. Come on, Kayla. Come on, Kayla. You should You should know. You should know. I'm preaching to the choir here, dude. Why are you trying to make me swim? Dude, see, it's because that water level came up, though. That's what I'm trying to do with something different, like that top water. Because I feel like it's going to be the only thing that kind of pulls those deep ones up and out. Come on, yo. I'm telling you, yo, I think I'm going to have like this bass coming out of nowhere. Watch. They're probably creeping on me, dude. They're probably creeping. Yo, th hell yeah, baby girl. It's so so good to have new people jumping in here, yeah. You know, dude? You know? I was just talking about that earlier. How did you find me? Were you just were you scrolling through just chatting? This this is just gonna compound on the conversation that we had earlier, if you say yes. Because that's exactly what I'm talking about. So many people, they're just like, yo, I don't even I didn't even realize you could stream that. That's so crazy. You know? Yup. Yo, what the fuck is that in the water? Is that a bug? What the fuck, yo? Sort of looks like a small snake. Wait, what? What the fuck? I'm about to go up to it. Oh, no, it looks like a bug. You see it? It's creating, like, this little wake on the water in front of me. That's so fun. Little tiny bugs. Yo, it's getting hot as fuck. I know my camera's probably like, kill me. Way to do it, right into the tree. I'm gonna fish the left side of the river. I'm not gonna I'm 
my boo has no balls confirmed. Oh, get out of here, dude. Does this dude hunt gators? <laughs> That's like the biggest question I think people ask us. They're like, yo, you're out there hunting gators, right? And it's like, nah, not really, dude. Not really, to be honest with you. One second, I gotta really get you guys nice and tight. So you guys want to be tight on the mouth, dude. Okay, we're good. We're set up now. Um, yeah, no, no, no gator hunting, really. It, it costs a lot of money, and it takes a lot of materials and time to hunt gators. You can't really just go out and just, like, kill a gator, you know? So, I think that's the biggest misconception. People are like, yo, they're fucking dinosaurs, and they're everywhere. Like, why can't you just kill them? I don't know. It's some Florida thing. Now we just need a fishing channel on here. You know what, Girthy? I'm watching you, bro. I'm, I'm watching you. Wait, what do you even mean? I'm, I'm confused. Getting trolled by the troll. Come on. Give me the freaking fat bass, yo. Right here, pulling right through the freaking... Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I got caught on the cypress knee, dude. I got caught on the freaking cypress knee, dude. Are you serious? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Jesus. Of course. Oh yeah, see, I get, I see a gator. He's all the way up in the fucking swamp, though. See, they're not sitting out here, dude. They're not really sitting out at the river anymore. It's too deep. There's not enough places for them to really chill, you know? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Give it here, give it here, buddy, give it here. Well, that noise sucked. The heck was that, he farted? Oh yeah, probably a fart. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly. I've been, I've been a little gassy, so I wouldn't doubt the fart. I wouldn't doubt the fart. Let's just say that. Um. I'm trying to think about what I want to do at the moment, and I think I'm going to go black trick worm. Something just freaking. Soaking up all the UV rays. Oh god, we're just going straight backwards, dude. That water is moving us, chat. Oh wow, baby girl, that's nuts. That literally like it completely goes behind what we were talking about earlier. We we're talking about Twitch and, and fishing on Twitch and shit. Um, yo, that's freaking awesome, dude. If you've never if you like fishing then hell yeah, do that shit for sure. It's a lot of fun. One second. Yo, what's up? I'm not muted. Um, you have me on speaker? Yeah. Okay, honestly, when you adjust the camera and you... Oh my god, you're not muted. It's so loud. One second. Sorry, I had to mute the TV. It was just driving me insane hearing myself. Um, so yeah, when you adjust the camera, it makes a terrible fucking noise, and it's so loud. For oh us. yeah, 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 yeah. I know so what you mean. So just like, just like, don't do that. Yep. Oh no, I know what you mean. I got you. <laughs> okay. Yep. Bye. Peace. Might get born there. We just shore fish the riverbanks. Maybe I'll try to get it one day. Yo, dude, definitely try it out if you can. I mean, you just need your phone. You don't need a battery bank. You don't need any of that shit. If you just want to try it out, all you need is your phone. It's really fucking easy. Um, but, dude, all I did, I started with bank fishing. That's You guys, you can ask the rest of the Gator Gang. All I did was bank fish for bass. Like, that was my fucking thing.
go on a diet. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I eat whatever Kayla's wanting to eat. But, uh, I mean, sometimes... I don't think she really gets mad. She's just like, she doesn't care because, like, she doesn't like that shit. So it's like, you know, that's just how it is. <laughs> GG, Killer Gorilla, Gregular TV, good to see you guys. You don't wear blue and orange, do you? Doghouse, no, I f absolutely do not follow football at all. I don't follow the Gators. I'm actually a Bulls fan. I know most, fun it's funny because a lot of people would be like, what the fuck, you're not even a, a freaking Florida Gators fan? Nope, I don't even really watch football. <laughs> Especially not college football. Like, I'll watch the playoffs of the actual NFL. That's it. I know Toasty Tiger. I like both. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. Thanks for hopping in. Football sucks. Let me reiterate, American football. I mean, I don't really watch soccer either, like the, the football. I don't really watch that either, but there is definitely a distinction. A lot of Americans are just be like, that's not football, that's soccer. It's like, nah, that's football, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking football, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you're on, Doug, but uh, you're wrong. You're wrong, Doug. See, like, 300 million people think it... Uh, soccer is called or football it's called soccer and uh, 7.4 billion people think that soccer is called football so you know looks like someone's wrong <laughs> and it's definitely not the rest of the world calling someone else baby makes me mad though it's just the name. It's the name in chat. I should, what, what was the numbers? There was numbers on her name, wasn't there? 8403. What's the, I'm going to call her 8403 if she hops in in the future. Gator, Gator. gang. Gator, gang. Gator, gang. Yeah, doghouse. You're right. You're right. Gator, gang. Gator, gang. Gator, gang. Gator. Fox Mulder, you guys don't throw me under the fucking bus, yo. Yo, big text coming in for seven months, my dude. Text, thank you so much, my man. You're a, you're a freaking beast. Thanks for supporting the Gator Gang the way that you do, my man. If you guys don't know Tex, bro, he's a fucking beautiful man. Kayla likes to call him the most beautiful of men. Even more, more so than me. I'm like, damn, dude. I mean... She's right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, dude. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Let's catch a fucking bass, y'all. Like, where are these fish right now? Do I need to use, like, a moving bait? I think that might have to be the jam, dude. Do, do like... I got, like, this swim bait tied on right here, bro. Like, like why don't we fucking... Why don't we give that the YOLO? And uh, see what happens, dude, you know? Give it the yellow swap. Give it the yellow swaps. And uh, let's get on some freaking bass, dude. Right? Right, dude? Come on. Like, let's just catch some fish. I know if I at least don't catch a bass, I'm going to definitely catch a bowfin with this uh, with this swim bait it's on. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be like freaking night and day, dude. I bet you first fish I catch after putting this swim bait on is a fucking bowfin, dude. But I'm also going to swap the camera because you guys won't be able to see topwater hits anymore anyways. I don't know. You guys like the front camera more or do you like my face more? I feel like it goes back and forth. I feel like sometimes you guys want to like watch me. But then other times it's like, yo, let me see that fucking nature boy. You can hear me. You can hear me. It's not like there's anything different in my, in my commentary, you know. You just can't, you can't see what I'm doing. You just see, oh, bam, look, now he's got the swim bait on. Throwing that fucking Z-Man 4-inch red bone 
on a VMC long shank three aught swim bay head. This is that money. This is that money, boy. So I need some drag, but I don't want too much drag. I need just enough that I can like turn their head away from like a log or something, if that does happen. I think this is nicer too, because I can kind of like search with it. I feel like with a worm, I'm kind of stuck in this scenario where I'm like letting it sit, you know? And I can kind of vary how fast I move this. That Kayla emo got me. <laughs> Which one is that? Mom games hard. <laughs> is that a real channel, dude? That's so funny. I like the underwater cam better. Oh, chat, chat, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You wish I, you know, I wish I could do that. That is uh, how you hook set straight into a log. I was like, yo, I just got picked up. I felt bump and then my line started getting real tight. Oh shit. Did you, did you hear that drag slip though? Holy shit, chat. Oh my gosh. Come on, log. Come on now. Oh, dude, like I got all the moss on it and shit. Oh, come on, buddy. Get off of there. Get off of there. You nasty. You nasty. I can just chill. Take a deep breath. Oh, wait. Let me do this because Kayla was like, yo, that noise. That noise, it kills us. Don't do it again, Shuck. Playing Super Seducer, oh my gosh. Dude, I did too. When I set that fucking hook, did you guys hear that drag slip? Oh, that's like the, the international, I got something good on. You hear that drag slip? Boy, that was it. I don't have a clicker on here, so. What the fuck's going on, dude? I grabbed my own tail. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's, ha let's head on up. Let's head on up, river boys. Let's go, go, go. Gotta watch out for the gators all around us. Let's get that hydrate. No one's even hit the hydrate today, bro. I'm having to do it myself. What kind of crap is this, dude? You guys, you guys always hydrate. You're leaving me hanging. You're like, God, he's gonna burn today. Get some. Oh, dude, that water is so fucking cold, chat. It's unreal. It's unreal. Dude, this goes back to what we were talking about the other day. The water here is so clean. Yo, using the life straw, that tastes like fucking bottled water. Like, it's unreal. But then, like, when we go to these ponds and these lakes where the water is still and I'm trying to drink it, it is the nastiest shit ever. And, like, I, I'm always out at the river using the life straw, right? So it's nice. Cold water and it's fucking beautiful, right? So then I'm like, oh, it works perfect. Let's go use it at these fucking ponds and lakes. And it's, like, the nastiest shit ever like i can barely take a couple sips right i'm not needing to survive i just need some fucking water sometimes i just can't handle that shit bro oh Ugh. Ugh. nasty nasty stuff yo gator be creeping he be creeping on the river then gators be creeping Oh, look at all them hydrates now. TTD. 
Can I see Tiger, dude? Small water fishing. Yo, what's up, dude? Thanks for the follow. Small water fishing was named for Shuck. Trying to watch you burn with your shirt off. What is Shuck? I am Shuck. I am Shuck, my good sir. Uh, I gotta give me a life. Dude, the life straw is a device. And it's literally just a fucking contain. It's like a water bottle, right? But you see, it's got the filter. It filters out just enough to where you can drink it, you know? It filters out life straw. It filters out just enough. It's their slogan. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can you can drink water. You can drink as long as it's fresh water. I mean, you can drink salt water too. It's just gonna be very salty. So get ready for that. <laughs> and, uh, I would highly recommend not drinking salt water if you're in need of hydration. You're only gonna dehydrate yourself more in the long run. Maybe if you're like fucking starving and you'll get water in an hour, you can drink salt water. Yeah, sure, go for it. But I mean, if you're, oh man, look at him. He's like sitting on a log over there. That's a nice size gator boy. Come on, bass, where you at, bro? Where are you at, big bass? Big bass dreams, yo, big bass dreams. Good afternoon, you legend. Yo, Pro Express, what's up, bro? Kayla got sick when she was using that life stuff, I remember. No. No, 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 good sir. No, no, no. She probably got sick because she had morning sickness. And sometimes you just get fucking sick, dude. She gets sick out of nowhere. I even use it pregnant, it filters out at numb. <laughs> oh my god, I love our life. <laughs> it's a fucking joke half the time. It won't be soon, chat. We got a kid on the way, okay? Come on, bass. Where are you at, bruv? Where are you at, bruv? How's the fishing going? Dude, I'm going horrible today. It's actually horrific. I, I normally come out here to the river to catch bass. Like when I just wanna catch some fish, this is where I come. I feel like I would've had better luck at the smaller portion of the river. Like I feel like there's just like a lot of gators out here and I can't target the bass because it's like the river's starting to flood. So you guys have been watching me for months now. Me and Kayla coming out here and it's just gotten drier and drier and drier. And like the swamp, like we went on a fucking walking mission the other day. You guys remember that from my three year anniversary? That was the beginning of June. It was like June 2nd. I went and walked around the Hillsborough Forest and, and walked down the bank and like fished, right? I couldn't do that now. It'd be literally impossible. I'd be walking through just like six to eight inches of water the entire time. Like, there's just so much shit. It's crazy the way how fast it turns. Like, you think to yourself like, oh, you'd need a lot of water for it to turn into a swamp, but it's all so shit. It's only like six inches, right? Like the river's super deep, but once the river's filled, it's all fucking super shallow. So, like, there's no hills or anything. So what happens is the second we start getting good rains like we've been getting, like, it's all flooded now. The problem is, is when the entire forest floods and it's all 8 inches to 10 inches deep, why the hell is the bass going to sit in the river? They've got, they've got perfect 78 degree water chilling in the middle of the swamp nothing but shade hiding from the birds and the wildlife 
and they're just chilling, yo. Yo, big gator facing me, straight up. Directly in the middle of the river. Directly in the middle of the river. Yeah, that's a big boy too. Check it out, I gotta, I gotta fucking turn this shit, yo. Yeah, he's sick, sitting there, directly in the center. I don't know if you guys can see his fucking snout, yo. That's a big son of a gun, dude. That ain't no small boy, I'll tell you that. He's like sitting directly in the middle of the river. It's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing, dog? And now he just goes under. That's some creepy shit, dudes. Like, it makes me not want to pass. It's like the troll on the bridge. Like you're coming up to the bridge and you see the troll and then he just goes underneath the bridge. It's like, bitch, I don't want to cross the bridge, dude. What the fuck are you doing to me, dog? It's some psychological warfare. Psychological fucking warfare, dude. It's nuts. Talking about absolutely scared the living shit out of you. I know I'm okay. Like if I just go up river and I just paddle like this, I know I'm gonna be fine. But god damn, if it, that isn't some fucking psychological warfare. Like where's he at? Where's he at? I'm just like searching right now, dude. This is like right where he was at. Gotta keep my head on a fucking swivel, dude. Keep my knees in, you know? Keep the knees in, head on a swivel. If he attacks anything, they usually attack paddles. They usually attack paddles because they get freaked out by them. You know? There's another gator sitting up here. In the trees, yo. He's, he's chilling in the trees, yo. Dude, fucking creepy, creepy nuts, yo, creepy fucking gator status, I don't like fucking around with these gator boys, sorry I can't read chat right now, I'm kind of focused on not fucking dying, these fucking creepy ass gators, like can you guys see this guy, see him come on the camera here, he got posted up in the tree yo, Oh, he was. Oh, yeah, he's like underwater now over there. I can barely see him. He's like completely underwater. But the thing is, is like now I'm on one side of the river and I gotta watch myself because they'll be sitting on this side of the river too. It's like, fuck. All these fucking gators, Mike. Like, bro, can I not just fucking fish in peace, dude? Can I not just fucking fish in peace, dude? Gator gang, gator gang, gator gang, get the kayak out, searching for any lake top of the food chain, best on the Twitch page. Come on, buddy. I know you be chilling here somewhere, bass. Lay down in your stomach and paddle with your arms. Oh my gosh. Yo, fishing solo with a party of 17 fishing solo. Thank you so much for hopping in. I don't think I follow you, good sir. Please tell me you are fishing. Because if you are, I'm going to have to drop that follow on you, big dog. Thank you so much for bringing your 17 people in here to the Gator Gang today. Having some fun out here at the river with the alligators. Just trying to, I'm trying to catch some fish, yo. I'm not trying to get attacked by an alligator right now, but... You know, I'm having a rough time catching fish. There's only other one other thing that can happen. Some alligator watching, you know? Thank you so much. Wanna know something funny? My friend bought scratches so you can win extra money every month. He uses his lottery when he has to pay off his wife so he can go fishing. Good strategy when your wife has to take care of the kids when you're gone. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But then also playing the lottery loses you a lot of money that he could have just gave into her in the first place. He's fishing in Florida, if you want to call it fishing, yeah. Coastal Angler, good to see you, brother. Lily with 
within the valley. Yo, yo, yo. Raiders. Yo, thank you guys. If you guys are new here. Yeah, you need an Uber, don't you? I destroyed your ears just now. We are the Gator Gang, bros. Welcome, you guys. Love you. I'm Shuck. I run the channel with my girl Kayla. My fiance Kayla Gazem. She's in the chat room right now. Not really. You guys are rough. What's up? He moved out of your way as you're walking through his living room. The fucking alligator? Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, freaking me out, dude. Freaking me out. Sometimes they don't get ballsy like that, and, it, and when they do, it freaks me out. Cause it makes me wonder, I'm like, yo, they're guarding their nest. You know, when they're guarding their nest like that, you gotta fucking, you gotta be on that red alert, son. You gotta be on that fucking command and conquer red alert shit. You get, you get ready, boys. You get ready. Like it's about to be a fucking battle royale. Uh, what were you? Solo drowns bait. He doesn't fish. Oh man, oof, rough. Know that shit. Know that shit. You, you got your own setup. You got your freaking egg sinker on. It's a one ounce. You want to make sure the bait stays down. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure the bait stays put. So you put a one ounce egg on there. You got everything rigged up. Your line to line's perfect. You grab your little green back. You hook them right through the back. You get ready and you toss it. Then halfway through the cast, you realize the cast went 55 feet in the fucking air. And then all you hear is pop from the fish just smacking the water sideways. In that moment, you realize you fucked up. <laughs> Your bait is now dead bait. <laughs> I've done that so many times, live bait especially. I don't do it as much with shrimp. I tend to fish shrimp a, a weightless a lot. And I, I tend to, if I'm live fishing, I tend to fish it weightless. I think it's, I think it's best to fish it weightless with the line open. I think it creates the best way to get hit. As long as you're good and you know where you're kind of fishing at. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it, but um, Oh man, I've done that so many times. Take risks, get rewards. Oh, with the lottery, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like the lottery. Craig doesn't gamble; he wins. <laughs> Let's go. That's the truth, dude. That's the truth, right? Well, that's like our boy. Okay, so we got a guy in chat. For those that don't know, we have a guy in chat. Goes by the name of um, Jeremy. Okay. He's a local dude, chill as fuck. We've we fished with him before. Okay. A little bit. It's been a little bit now. He he doesn't play the lottery, right? He doesn't play it ever. He said he's maybe bought like two hundred dollars worth of tickets in his whole life, which is about average. I've probably I've probably spent like a hundred bucks on tickets, you know, here and there. Maybe two hundred, like buy maybe one time I'm like, fuck it, buy a ten dollar ticket, you know? So he went in and he got a $10 ticket and he ended up winning $10. And he said, you know what? Fuck it. I just won $10. I'm just going to turn around and buy more lottery tickets. So then he bought two $5 tickets and he won $10. And he was like, yo, that's nuts. I got literally just made, just did the same. He's like, I'm just going to keep playing. So then he asked the teller, give me two tickets. And it was a brand new roll of the Gold Rush $5. Brand new roll. You literally see the tickets, number one and number two. Two $5 lottery tickets. Wins a million dollars. I'm thinking to myself, yo, you are the luckiest bastard in the world. Like, that is insane. There's nothing. You are literally playing a game of chance. It is one in millions. And you just took that shit, dog. You just took that shit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That shit blows my mind. Needless to say, about two or three weeks later, homie hits me up on fucking Discord. <laughs> Got a boat. <laughs> I bought a boat. <laughs> Hell, bro, I, I would have bought a boat too if I had a fucking 40000 for the next 25 years. <laughs> Do 
Yo, thanks for the 50 bits. Says, take your shirt off. Let me see them thick bits. Nope. Jeremy Baller. You know, I mean, he was. I think he was already doing okay for himself. I think he, he, you know, he wasn't struggling in life anyways. But at the same time, it's like, yo, that's nuts. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a millionaire. If you don't play the lottery, like, if you never play the lottery and you the one time you decide to play the lottery, you basically win twice, and then on your third time of winning in a row, you fucking take the whole thing. Well, if you got to think, he won more than twice. So he won the one, bought two, won both of those, if I'm right. I don't know if he won $10 off one ticket or $5 per ticket, but then ended up buying the others, right? He lost on the first ticket, but the other ticket was number two, and he got the million. Straight up, picture proof, dude. Picture fucking proof. And then, like I said, literally two weeks later, he's out on a boat. Like, that homie, that homie won. Like, that's real. I load, YOLO'd my life savings in Tesla because Greg said it was going from 690 to 800. It went down. Ooh, damn. Yo, Greg. Greg. You gotta watch out, bro. Make sure you file that LLC before you start giving out advice, homie. <laughs> Make sure, you, make sure you file up that regular TV, dog. People aren't coming after your fucking personal assets. He told me to invest. <laughs> he told me to invest, Judge. Yeah, you know my fucking corporation did. How's Queen? Okay, Shuck. Sweat. Doing great. As you can be for being prego AF. Yo, she is so pregnant, dude. She is so pregnant. It is not even funny, dude. Over time, it's gotten even just more and more noticeable. Like, she's just preggers, dude. She's super preggers, dude. Not even a joke. She's not like showing yet because it's still very early on, but dude, the hormones and everything else that comes along with the pregnancy, like her body changing, you know? The fucking rack, dude, you know? You know? <laughs> Chat, these things I notice. <laughs> uh, no, for real though, like, yo, like her, you can, t there's times that she talks about like the pains she's having and you can just tell it's from like her fucking uterus. Oh, I thought I got slammed there. I think I was a little slow on the hook set. You can tell her uterus is just pushing on everything else in her body right now. It's probably pushing her entire rib cage, squeezing down on like her stomach and her lungs and stuff. I noticed when I put my head on her chest at night, there's times that uh, she... Uh, like her heart beats, her heart beats a lot faster, just naturally, which is perfectly normal. Come on, buddy, where are you at, Bass? Yo, my phone doesn't even have the brightness to get away from this fucking sun. How is my phone not overheated yet? Holy shit. Let's take preventative measures and just unplug it. <laughs> you know? You know, there's been times that I've been just doing this long enough. I'm like, yo, you know what? I think it's time to unplug the phone or else we're going to end up in a scenario where the phone just doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Can I turn up the brightness here? Oh, this phone's on full brightness. The sun is just so bright. I don't care how I feel about you talking about my uterus. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't take me vacate from Twitch opening OnlyFans. Prego OnlyFans. Oh, God, dude, that'd be fucking money. <laughs> that would be, for some reason, I got this feeling that would be the fucking money, dude. <laughs> People love, 
Like, you think people love feet? <laughs> oh, God, pregnant chicks is like a whole nother fucking thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, dude. Come on, there's normally always something that sits up in here. If I don't catch something that's sitting up in here, I'm about to swap my setup. And I, I've got an idea of like something I want to kind of do that I think would be super dope. It's these big ass worms. It's these big ass Z-Man worms. They're like giant turds. The giant, oh fuck, right into a tree. It's these giant TRDs. But the thing is, is then it's like a huge worm and it floats. So you can Texas rig it and it just stands on end. Like it's like fucking standing straight up, like a net rig almost basically. That's nuts, yo. That's nuts. I might try it. Kayla's first only fan sub. Anyone who wants callous construction worker fee picks, hit me up. Oh, dude, don't even, don't even shout out, dude. Don't even, because I know there's people in here that will hook that shit up. In a heartbeat, they'll be like, oh my god, the calluses. Probably more women than you think, nachos. Like, oh my god, he's such a hard-working man. Let me see those hands, daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna see you, mo I wanna watch you moisturize them. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Kayla, is your targeted demographic. <laughs> that is some absolutely hilarious shit. <laughs> I want to see you moisturize them. <laughs> Chat, you're funny today, dudes. For sure. You know, some days, some days, it's just like another day, you know? But today, it's not just another day. It's a fucking fun day. <laughs> Y'all are getting weird at your jobs and shit. You're just sitting there. You're like, yo, it's noon. I've been working for four hours. I'm done. I need a lunch. Boss, give me the lunch break. I'm trying to watch the gated gang, dog. Perfect opportunity to fucking segue. Yeah, the gated gang. Check us out. Gatorgang.tv. Pick up your merch now. Or you can watch the live stream there and everything. Gatorgang.tv. Come on, bitch, where the fuck are you at, bro? I know you're sitting up in here, dude. I know you're sitting up here, bitch. Fucking come on. Fucking come on, yo. Where are you at? Where are you at? I think it may be time to go to that fucking worm status, dude, because I'm not getting bit thugs. I'm not getting bit today, homie. Them ZX Willy, any fish? Dude, have we even gotten a fish today, chat? Yo, it's such a weird day. Yo, we haven't caught a fish. Are you fucking joking me, yo? I think about it. I'm like, oh my God, we haven't caught a fish. We haven't even caught a fish today, dudes. What is going on in this world? What is going on? Um, okay. Let's put this away. Let's put this away, and I'm going to get out. Oh, wait. I don't need anything crazy. Check it out, chat. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, so guys, today I was going to do something a little different with like MLF streaming and stuff. And then I like 
slept in. And then I was like, you know what, dude? I'm just gonna go fish. I'm just gonna go fish a little bit later. Probably just right through the middle of the day, like I do. I'm a fucking weirdo. I'm like gonna sit here. I actually don't bitch about the heat too much, but it is hot as fuck outside. But then still, I'm gonna like just be fishing like directly through the middle of the day. I tend to do this shit to myself all the time. Just wish I had a boat for it. Sometimes being on a boat is just so much nicer. Even if you don't have shade, technically. Like, just being able to be like, you know what? Let's just fucking go, dude. Got that trolling motor. Fucking zoom around. I think that would be my biggest thing. Whether I'm on a fucking John boat or a real boat or whatever. As long as I got a trolling motor, I'd probably feel at home. Scented, scented jerk boy? Nope, that's not what I want. Oh, that's it right there, chat. That's it right there. Look at this. Look at this fucking crazy ass worm. Chuck has to win this Go League for Skipper's new pair of shoes. <laughs> Yo, for real though. It's gonna go straight to the baby. I would just hit on Sarah all day if we lived with Greg. Yo, I would love, I, to be honest, like, I like Colorado and all. I just, I don't know if I could live there, dude. I don't know if I could live in Rado. It, it's too much cold for me. There's too, there's not enough open water season. I, I, I don't know if I could do it, dude. It's not enough open water for me. I gotta, I gotta have that fucking open water. And I love, dude, as much as like sometimes I hate that the feeling of the salt water, yo, I love salt water, dude. Like it is, it is so much of who I am. I'm a fucking Floridian, dude. I'm a fucking Floridian, like through and through. Like I've thought about it more and more recently. Like look at that, look at that hog. This guys, this bait stands up in the water. Like underwater, it's gonna be like this. Straight up, like it'll be sitting on the bottom like this. And it's gonna pop along. Absolutely massive freaking worm, dude. Absolutely. Like, let's try to like toss this back in here, see if we can't plug in. It's heavy too, dude. It's heavy, heavy. I'm gonna give it a click tighter on my drag, you know? Dude, I just, I can't do ice fishing. And like, if that's gonna be a whole, like, I've talked about this before, chat. Look, I love, I love fishing. And I love video games. I love outdoors. And I love the computers and everything about that, right? But he here's my thing. It's like, if I, like, I love games. And gaming is so easy because you can just stay at home and do it, right? That's, like, the best part. Dudes, I feel like... If I have too much winter, I'm gonna spend too much time inside to where then I'll just become too addicted to the fucking video game's life. And then I'll, and then I, when the, when the summer comes around, I'll be too addicted to the video game's life to really enjoy the outdoors life. Like, I feel like that's like a thing where I'd rather trade the gaming for the outdoors. Like, I just love, I think being outdoors is huge. And I'm, I'm really glad, like, okay, in the past, in the past, there's been times in my life that I've been, like, purely, like, I don't want to fucking go outside. Like, that's just how it is. Especially as a Floridian, you have those moments in your life. You're like, I'm just not going outside, bro. That's not for me. Okay? I'm so glad I love going outdoors right now as with having a child coming. Because, like, yo... I want to take this kid and just go for a fucking walk through the forest. Maybe, maybe not like initially and maybe not like the forest, but like a nature walk or something. I feel like that's huge. Like as a kid, those create the memories that the stupid shit you for like, you don't really even talk about to anyone. Like maybe you have this memory and this thought of like the first time you, you seen a beautiful butterfly, you know? And it's like, Yo, that was probably some place that your parents fucking took you. That was just like a regular little nature walk, you know? But you've seen a crazy dragonfly or something, right? 
I think that's that's a huge thing, dude. I think that's a huge thing. Yo, crossbow, that's awesome, bro. What did you what did you get? Did you get yourself like a couple different setups or like what's going on? I moved to Florida three days ago. Oh man, really? I'll be on the ocean again one day, already looking at golf carts from my Florida spot. No way! Dude, come, bro. Let's go, Greg. Let's go. We've got the kiddo now, so we need to we need to evolve off the scooters. We can have the scooters back up, but like, yo, being able to have the golf cart is the key. Because you ride around, and you got all the rods, like, in the golf cart chilling. And golf carts, dude, you get, like, a gas-powered golf cart, that shit will go so far. And you can ride it just about everywhere in Florida. Like, to be honest, most times, if you rolled, if I rolled up on the golf cart, uh, I don't know, it's a back and forth kind of thing, actually, now that I think about it. I think a lot of people, there's a lot of places I've been where if you go with a golf cart, they're gonna be like, yo, what are you fucking doing here? But I roll up on the scooter, they don't even ask questions, right? I usually catch mad bowfin over here. Let's see what we can't do. I love Florida and Florida once makes me want to go out. Being indoor hermit in Florida is weird. You just can't. Oh, dude, you totally can. I did for so many years. I did it for so many years. It's like the it's like fucking awesome. It sucks sometimes though. Cause like your house your house gets hot even. Right? But man. You could totally fucking be an indoor hermit. I know so many people like that. I know so many. My Both of my brothers are that way. <laughs> like, they don't really go outdoors. They love playing video games, like, all day. But I think going into having a child, I think it's dope to love the outdoors more than love the video games. Like, I think... I think I like I love video games and I'll totally sit down and play games for like days straight, right? Like there's been times even in the past like year or two, like I've done that shit. Especially with Kayla. Like we played what did we play just recently where we were both kind of we played through like some we did like GTA online a little bit and we were playing like World of Warcraft and stuff and um loved it. Loved it. It's, it created some awesome memories for us, right? But um I feel like when they're really young and they don't understand the concept of video games yet, it's like nature's just natural. Funny. Nature is natural. But being able to just go outside, like, kids just, like, freak out at, like, a park. Like, like cl climbing all over a jungle gym. Like, kids, like, go fucking nuts, dude. They'll just start running as fast as they can and just be like, ah! They're just having fun, dude. Like, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Greg and I are moving to Minna, Florida. Yo, there's a place called Miniola. Let's go, bro. Miniola. Go to it. Yo, please move to Lake Miniola. It's like a fucking hour away. Maybe because they're from Florida, but I moved there. Oh yeah, P if you move, if you're moving here from elsewhere, I think that makes a huge difference. Uh, th I think that was a huge thing for me too. Is I spent a little bit of time up north when I was a little bit younger, but I think it, it kind of helped me appreciate, you know, being outside I, in Florida, like always having the heat. Like Kayla loves that. Like, I, she's kind of dying right now, and she can't appreciate it as much because of the fact that she's pregnant. Like, we don't want to hurt the baby. But, like, Kayla's, Kayla's loved the past couple of years that we can just pick up and, like, just go out in the middle of December and, like, just be chilling. Like, all she's got is a hoodie on, you know? That's huge. Oh, fuck, dude. There goes 30 minutes of quality fishing.
First time I saw a gator blew my mind, I was all struck. It came up to me and just stopped and stared at me. Oh yeah, they will. Yeah, everyone puts them out. It's like a bear. It's like bears. Like, let's say you encounter a bear in the wild. It, it's not gonna just like, or a wolf. They're not just gonna fucking charge you the second they see you, dude. Well, nine times out of 10, they're probably gonna run because they're scared. They think you're a hunter. But then also like, yo, I bet you just like an alligator, I bet you there's times if you, you could lock eyes with a big black bear and they'll just stare at you for a second. And then they'll kind of walk away. But I can almost guarantee there's that point of like stopping and just staring. Or maybe they'll kind of walk closer just to inspect you. Cause they're just like, yo, what the fuck? Why do you hold your reel like that? Are you dumb? Oh, Kayla, you did this. You did this. There goes 30 minutes of quality fishing. I'm telling you dudes, oh, it sucks. I know it's like funny. And especially like when I try to like catch a bass, like if I feel like I got a hit, like, oh my God, it makes it even that much worse. Cause I'm just like, come on, buddy. I was so close. Like I almost, like I got both setups and it doesn't matter what I reverse with, right? So maybe I should just like fucking take the, take the spinning rod out for now, you know? I got that freaking. Um. Are we good? Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. With the drop shot, at least I can like kind of let it sit there and it looks sort of natural, you know? I feel like that's a huge thing. And I'll feel when something picks it up a lot easier. That's huge. Wait, is the alert box scuffed? Like how? I think it's a little too low because I put it in like the corner. Dude, it's crazy to think like, okay, so this water bottle, I just filled it up a little bit ago, right? With the, with the river water and it was cold. Already it's hot as can be, dude. And it makes me realize like, that's the whole reason I bought this live straw. I could not bring enough water out. Uh, I'd bring like a gallon of water out. And the problem is, is if you don't have a cooler, it'll be a hundred degrees within like an hour or two. It just, dude, the humidity just sucks it. Sucks the cold out of it. Easy sunshine, what up, bro? Thanks for hopping in today, dog. We're uh, attempting to catch fish. Oh. Oh. It must have been something. I gotta kinda tight, let me tighten down the drag a little bit. I don't wanna lose it cause the fucking drag, dude. If I get a good hook set, like that's gonna be it. You drinking river water? Fuck yeah, buddy. Chopper stink. It's the fancy. This is the five hundred dollar reel. Okay. You fish it like this, it it increases your leverage when you're hook setting on a fish. Okay. The backwards motion of the reeling is is so revolutionary. It just blows people's minds when they see it. That's the that's the whole thing. You know, they're laughing because they don't understand. They're laughing because they don't understand how good it is. How long did you put the nuggies in for yesterday? You're gonna wanna do like eight minutes. You're gonna wanna do like eight minutes Toss them, do six minutes. Yo, either this shit's falling really fast, or there's something that's got it, yo. I don't even know. Yo, West Palm is where I was born. I was born in West Palm Beach. 
a long time ago, eons ago, West Palm Beach. That's my fucking home place. I live West Palm Beach. Oh, dude, I knew it. Something did, dude. Something took it. Something took my fluke, boy. Something took the fluke, boy. That's it. That's it. See with a drop shot, you gotta really get your get your line right. Getting your line right with a drop shot is so huge. I wanna try the black trick worm maybe. Yeah, sometimes that shit just fucking works, dude. Here we're going straight back. I do not wanna do that. Oh, that was dope. Good cast. I'm running out of line though. I was thinking about, okay, so look, we used the, we used the super light fluorocarbon, right? We had used that, uh, we had used the, whatever it was, the copolymer. It was okay, whatever. I, I liked the fight of it, right? I liked the fight. And then I went to my spinning, I went to my casting setup to try fluoro and I did 15 pound fluoro and I liked it, but there was just some things I didn't really like. And uh, in the end, I think I, I like most of my casting setups with braid to a fluoro leader, right? Unless maybe it was a specific setup, like a jerkbait setup. I could totally... Oh. Fuck, dude. I got to just learn how to get good with the hook sets on the left hand. But uh, I've been thinking more and more about putting 10-pound fluoro on, on this spinning setup, yo more and more i've been thinking about like yo just spooling it up secret red label 10 pound pure 100 percent fluorocarbon none of this copolymer none of this fucking fluoro coated bullshit i'm talking full on 100 percent seager fluorocarbon that's my favorite shit by the way how did you meet kayla stay hydrated bro we got you big dog um So she was a uh, a chatter a long time ago. So what what I used to do chat is I worked a job from 1 a.m. to 7 or 8 a.m. Right, and what I would do sometimes maybe it would like go to like nine. Okay, seven days a week I did this job. Okay, so what I did is seven days a week I basically I didn't have a life I didn't have anyone in my life. <laughs> so uh, the time I was just like you know what I'm just gonna do. Seven days a week, I'm going live at 11 o'clock in the morning every single day. 11 a.m. EST, and I'm sure there's plenty of people in here that remember that. For months, I went live 11 a.m. EST every single day. In the beginning, when I first started, Kayla had joined and she followed, but then she took a hiatus and was doing something. She came back to the stream after a couple months, right? Probably like two or three months. And uh, she comes in and at the time it was during my life i was kind of doing like tender here and there and i realized very quickly like i wasn't really reaching that many people you know like meet all the singles in your area but it's like only like so many people use the fucking app or trying to get late you know and tinder isn't the best place to find a soulmate to be honest i was i was trying to find love on a platform made for fucking I couldn't find anyone that I really like loved to just talk to, you know? And I just wanted to fuck. And I, that's real. That's how it is. That's tender. Should not expect anything more. But I was like, yo, I'm reaching maybe like 100 to maybe let's say 500 people max a week. And then I'm looking at my stream t statistics and I'm like, okay, I know it's like 70% guys, but I'm still reaching. Within a week, I was reaching 10,000 plus people you know, through my unique viewers. I'm like, yo, there's no reason for me not to like look online, you know? I'm down to, I'm down, I'm down to try a, a, a you know, online relationship. See if I, maybe I could just find someone, right? Joking around the next day on stream. 
just joking around. I made my stream title, Accepting Girlfriend Applications. <laughs> troll lol lol. Dude, we spent the first like four hours of the stream just trolling. It was fucking hilarious, okay? I used to do this thing though, since I worked from one to eight o'clock in the morning, I'd get out here in the fucking sun in July and I'd be streaming for like three or four hours. I'd get delirious and hot. So I'd have to fucking take a nap. And I would take a nap on stream. I would nap for maybe like 30 minutes to an hour every day. So one day, I'm napping. And I fucking wake up, because I had a fish on. And I wake, because I put bottom bait out. I was salt water, I remember. I put bottom bait out, I wake up on fish on. And then I see Kayla in the chat, and Super Cajun at the time. Uh, one of my, he was a moderator at the time, he's not anymore. I'm glad I fucked that cast up because it also wasn't underhand. Let me get this shit going. Um, Super Cajun at the time, he goes to Kayla. He's like joking. They're joking around. We've been trolling all day. So Super Cajun's like, troll lol, lol you should DM him. You got to DM Shuck. You got to DM chat. Oh. He was like, yo, you gotta DM him, you gotta DM him for, for laughs, right? So she literally, like, they said something in chat like, DMing for the lols. DM for the lols. So she DMs me, lol, just, like, just for the lols. Literally says that, just for the lols. And I was like, at first I thought it was funny. I was like, ah, oh, that's funny, whatever. And we start talking. And I've never, Regardless if it was a fucking woman or not, I'd never connected with someone like that. Like the way we started talking, it felt like it was, I was talking to my best friend of my life and I just had met this person. And like over time we started talking more and more and like spent 10 months online dating. And now here we are like fucking three years later. And she's like the most amazing person in my life, you know? And we're having a fucking child. P line is a fishing line brand. Yeah, I don't like memory, dude. I can't deal with that, especially with a spinning setup. Y'all get married before the kiddo comes or after? Yeah, so we're in this situation where it's like, we kind of wanted, we didn't want to do a huge wedding. For those that don't know, the fact that we've met through Twitch and everything, like we feel like Twitch is a huge part of like who we are. And it's almost like a culture, you know? So we, we've kind of been in the mindset where we're like, yo, we kind of want to share these huge life events with Twitch. We think it's like, you know, the Gator Gang's become a huge part of our family, right? So I streamed the engagement, which was really fucking dope. Try, it was hard as shit to hide and like stream and do the whole nine yards, right? It, was, it wasn't the easiest thing to accomplish, but I got her done, okay? Exclamation proposal, if you guys want to check that out. But um, we're gonna stream the wedding. We're gonna have the wedding be set up so there's fucking cameras all over the place. You guys get to see anything in every angle. We're gonna have someone master controlling it so they can change the main video feed for whether we're, we got, maybe Kayla's walking down the aisle and there's a camera guy that's watching her walk down the aisle and then they go to a camera that's got both of us standing up there, right? You know, stuff like that. Maybe there's a camera guy who's like looking through the audience. You know, it's just, I kind of want to set it up. So we have maybe like two or three camera guys and we got a controller. Because what we want to do is we want to keep the wedding small, super close family. Like I want to have like literally the closest of family there. And I, I'm doing it on purpose this way because I think this is huge for us. But like, I want to have my brothers and my parents and maybe my grandparents. She's the same. She wants to have the very close family. She wants to have her parents, her grandparents, you know, the, her, the family that's closest to her, the people that love her the most, you know? We get just that tight-knit group together, but then we stream the entire wedding on Twitch. People at the wedding will have iPads or whatever, phones and iPads set up specifically with Twitch chat on it so they can fucking look and see what people are talking about. And then they can comment in chat. It'll say like, 
door door camera and like there's a door camera and the guy's like standing at the door camera typing on the door camera iPhone or chat you know what I'm saying like you can talk with people like that I think it'd be super fucking cool they can like show their love through that um but then streaming it. We're gonna basically stream it. So basically what happens though, is we had COVID. We were kind of planning a wedding and then COVID happened. And dude, her family's from freaking North Ontario. Like they're all still on full lockdown. Like some people can't even go to see their loved ones in hospitals because the lockdown's still so serious. They cannot leave the country to just come to America. Even after immunization, like, We've been having issues. So we just said, you know what? And we got, we had the kid on the way. We're like, you know what? Let's just wait. We're going to wait for the kids to kind of grow up if we have to. We'll see. But we're going to wait for the kid to grow up. They can be the ring bearer or flower girl. And then we'll have the wedding when they can actually come, when her family can come here and visit and we can do the wedding. Everyone gets an iPad? No, we'll just have a couple of them. Like maybe like two or three set up around, you know, the wedding. Just anatomically isn't feasible. Wait, what? Oh gosh, chat, what are y'all going on about? You're pregnant? Dude, yeah, Domino, good to see you. I feel like it's been a minute, dude. I see you live every once in a while. Flying like Rainbow Six and stuff. I think it's actually been a minute. Um, we're floating backwards. Has anyone been watching the timer for this reversal? Like, I've just been fishing backwards. I've missed so many fish, too. I've gotten bit so many times now. And I just can't, I can't hook up on them. I can't hook up on them because I'm using my fucking left hand, dude. And like, I can't cast out properly. We're coming right up on this branch, this tree right here that's kind of fallen. It's perfect though. I can like post myself up and we can just chill. As long as it's not floating. Gator, gang, gator, yeah, we're thinking of maybe gator, just one. Gator, oh, gator, dude, it's just a floating log. Come on. Come on, I don't want to go backwards. Yeah, we're about to go backwards. Yeah, that's a huge grasshopper. That's a grasshopper shell. That's nuts. Or I, I skin or whatever. What do they call them? A molt. Molt. I know things about insects. Easy Sunshine, thank you so much for the freaking sub, yo, GG, GG, dude. Oh my, is that a reverse I see? Yeah. Dude, thank you so much for that sub. Why are you fishing upside down with the rod? Well, fat man on a couch, this is the way that I learned as a kid. This is the way that I grew up fishing. And this is how I freaking fish now, dude, okay? You know, people want to come in here and they want to hit and spit all this crap. You're doing it wrong, Shuck. It's like, you know what, buddy? I've been doing this for so long, I don't even know what's wrong anymore. I don't even know. Like, I just, this is how I fish, dude. I've always done it this way, you know? People do weirder things. Come out deep sea fishing next time Cuzzo brings his boat down from South Carolina. Uh, maybe, yeah. Me, me and Kayla don't really like deep sea fishing. The only, I think in the future, the only time I go out to deep sea fish again is if I am on a charter where I'm going to be guaranteed one of my dream fish. Sailfish, marlin, mahi. I've got to be guaranteed that this charter is going to fucking take me out and nail them. That means I'm going out at the right time during season 
when the fucking water temperature's right. I'm waiting for the captain to tell me when a good time is. Like, I'm not about to fuck around. Like, I don't deep sea fish just for fun. I'd much, I'd much rather take a charter and go inshore fishing for freaking six foot tarpon or or maybe like take an inshore charter and just go absolutely nail like the most freaking 30 pound jacks and shit, you know? Like, oh, I'd much rather have those fights. Like work in the mangroves for absolutely gigantic reds and snook. Oh, Domino, no, don't be late. I've done that. We go deep sea out of Tampa. Oh yeah, I know, bro, 100 miles out. It's, they've got really good fucking, they got really good like grouper and shit. There's tons of amazing fishing out there. Trust me, I know that. Snapper, hawkfish. People love it, dude. You don't like deep sea? Nah, bro, it's fucking boring. I, I, I can't do deep sea just like I can't do ice fishing. Like I'm, I'm very much a person that loves to cast lures. And dude, something I realized about deep sea fishing, especially because I